What are the mistakes that I see yard drainage contractors making? I'd say the number one mistake that I see, they don't put enough stone in their drainage systems. Doesn't matter what they're building for a drainage system. If it's a dry well, French drain, they're not using enough stone. They're not doing enough excavation. It seems to me what's happening is I don't know if it's laziness. I don't want to say that. I don't think it's out of laziness. I think it's they don't know any better. Somehow they ended up renting a trencher then probably eventually a buying a trencher they went ahead they trenched it out they put a pipe in they weren't even thinking about it i know that guys that have been doing it for a long 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 time don't remove very much dirt if any at all and they don't put enough stone in because when you trench you only end up with a six inch groove so you put a four inch pipe in doesn't matter how good the pipe is at that point you just don't have enough drainage stone for the water to run through now we use an eight slot eight slots per valley and these are saw cut you can stick a a quarter a u.s quarter in those so our pipe screams now i could give you my pipe and you could run out with a trencher and put it in like i see the guys it, it's not going to do much for you that part ain't going to change in order for that pipe to move the kind of water that it can move, it's capable of moving, you need a lot of stone. So that's the number one thing. And guys are ill-equipped and they're using a trencher. Another thing that I've got to give a shout out to the guys at Ditchwich in Michigan. They take good care of us. They keep us up and running. They ran me out of an attachment to Algonac, Michigan yesterday. Unbelievable. Thank you guys. We appreciate a shout out. You have to be equipped though. If you're not willing to invest, you know, like we don't use a trencher, we cut the sod off. We cut the sod off so that we can do a clean install. Now this is a very flat backyard. So we did parallel drains back here. You can hardly tell that right here they piece the sod back together and you can see this is what we had that's how well when you take a sod cutter now the other thing that the guys are doing wrong things that I see that are a problem in the industry they're not using enough stone and even when they do get this far they can't haul out all that dirt so they kind of cheat and they know they're cheating they know what they're doing they're putting the dirt back in so they'll put some stone in over the pipe and at some point they start just putting dirt on well when you put dirt over a french drain system you get away with it initially you will get away with it in the beginning why is that because the dirt's very loose so you, the water will run right through it but i'll tell you what you give that soil time to get compacted and it's over that's it it will no longer work that drain will not no, no longer work that's why you see guys putting inlets these inlet drains that's a sign of a guy that's building you a really really bad drainage system don't go with a guy who's using inlets there's a rare 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 time that you use an inlet now you can see the sprinkler system we just basically cut the pipe cleanly. We take a coupler, put a coupler in, a clamp, and then we do the repair. You've seen sprinkler lines in my previous videos. You can see that we just reconnect them. With a trencher, you're, you're tearing through everything. It's very invasive. Your yard needs seed or sod. And then there's a lot of settling because they're putting back all that all that loose dirt in. So these are the mistakes that I see the contractors making. 
some out of laziness all of it out of being ill-equipped that's for sure now how does that result to, you know for the homeowner well sadly they end up with a drainage system that expires a drainage system that has an expiration date I hear these guys say oh my drains go you know five to ten years and then they watch some of my videos yeah oh, my my drains go 10 to 15 years now they're 15 to 20 years yeah whatever okay that's why I'm replacing your drains after two years so for a drain built right the first time the contractor needs to haul out all the dirt and put none of it back in needs to bring in plenty of stone and not do the job with a trencher be equipped